Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about how to create mapping sets in the subledger modules. Yeah. So this is one of the very interesting topic. So ideally it is it is coming in the subledger modules. Let's say example like on payable receivables and etc. So we do create these mapping sets in different sources. Meaning of that by using accounting hub navigation and uh, subledger models level also, we can go and create the mapping sets wherever it is applicable or needed. We can create mapping sets. Okay, so what is the meaning of the mapping sets and how to use this and when to use this? So, that what is the or I would say what are the advantages by using these mapping sets in the real time business world? So the mapping sets provide an efficient way to define a segment or account code combination value for one or more transactions or reference attributes values, right? So this will this would be required if at all the clients wants to deriving different co uh, code combinations for the as per the need. Let's say example they want to derive the the segment values from the different different uh, attributes or different source of the information. In that place, we can create mapping sets and these mapping sets will be associated with the, your accounting rule. Ultimately, end of the day, accounting rules will, the, will be playing the key role to deriving the accounting entries for the subledger transactions. Okay, so here I mentioned the key point here use up to 10 transactions or reference attributes as input into a mapping sets, right? So this is the, the major significant of the information about the mapping sets. So let's get into application. We'll try to create one mapping set, how to be creating and uh, what are the prerequisite steps are needs to be created and so on. So I log in with an instance, go to the respective model under uh, the functional area. Let's say example, now I'm going to create for payables. Under the payable, select all tasks and scroll down. Here you can see manage mapping sets. So here only somebody has created some of the mapping sets here. So what we'll do, we'll create one mapping set here. Click on plus symbol. Give any one unique name. Let's say example, ABC underscore mapping sets. ABC underscore MP school set. So here output type. Here output type we need to give as per the need. Here you can see three options are available: account combination, segment, and value set. So in this case, just I want to derive any one specific segment value. So that I will give as a one segment here. If you want to provide Description, yes, you can provide it. And input source, click on plus symbol. Take invoice. Search for what other sources are available for us. Let's say example invoice type see here it is saying as a invoice type apply say okay select chart of account do yes chart of account segment which segment you want to derive let's say example if you want to track any of the segment let's say example I want to track my transactions and accounts payable tran uh, 
items by product. In this case, select product, which comes under the chart of account structure. Here, just go and click on plus symbol. Invest type. So here we have given the input source. Here we are giving the input source along with the what is the output has to derive. It. Select invest type is as a standard invoice or any invoice you want to track that. Here go with the standard. The output is let's say example services. So uh, the whenever we are going to create invoice by using this inputs type as a standard invoice and the segment which is product it will be captured from here as a 300 that is what our expectation so just cross check all the mandatory fees which you have given here seems everything looks good then save the record Yes, and here always check the status. You should be active more. Save and close. So this is how we can create mapping sets.